Having a power tongue jack is great until it stops working. I'm Ian Baker and today I'm going to show you some troubleshooting steps on how to fix your tongue jack if it's not operating. So one of the first things we want to check is if your tongue jack has power. This is honestly one of the most common issues that happens. So what you want to do is you'll have a light right up here, just flip that on. If the light comes on, then you know you have some sort of power, but it still may not be enough to operate the jack. So what you want to do next is take your seven way plug, actually plug that into your tow vehicle, because that way it'll use the charge feed line from the alternator to actually power it. So if you do that and your tongue jack starts working, well, then that helps us narrow down what might be going on. Now, you will still want to get your camper in to do a 12 volt system check. So you want to take it to a dealership once you're done camping, because there's definitely a couple things that are happening. Either it's not getting charged in transit, the onboard converter isn't charging the battery, uh, or maybe you've just drained the battery down so far that it's no longer taking a charge. And, that's why a lot of people actually have solar panels on their RV is to prevent that exact issue. Now, if we flip the light on for the power tongue jack and nothing happens, either you have a burnt out bulb or the issue is it's just not getting any power. So then what you wanna do is actually head inside the RV and check out some of your other 12 volt components. Uh, turn on your lights, open up your power awning, see if those function. If they don't, then the problem is you probably just have a dead battery and then we're gonna go back to plugging into the truck to see if that gets those to work. However, if those are functioning, that means your 12 volt power is working, it's just not getting to the power tongue jack. So then what you'll wanna do is take a look at a fuse or mini breaker. To find those, you'll find one cord that comes off of your power tongue jack. That's gonna be your power cord. The reason there's only one is it's actually grounded through the bolts into the frame. So we'll follow that back to where you will find again, either a breaker or a, or a mini breaker or a fuse. This particular example, we have a fuse. So we're just gonna pull that fuse and then we'll take a look to make sure that it is not going to be blown right there in the center. As you can see here, this one is good. If it is broken in the center, you'll obviously wanna replace that fuse. Now for a mini breaker, in order to test those, you will need a voltmeter. So if you don't have one, you're probably done troubleshooting at this point. Uh, but if you do, you'll simply wanna take the positive lead, put that on the post of the mini breaker, take your negative lead, and then you will put that on the frame. Uh, and so that way you can test that breaker itself. When testing the mini breaker, if there is no power, then we're going to back it up to see where the problem lies. So you'll want to test the side of the breaker that's feeding the breaker. And if still no power there, then lastly, you'll wanna check the voltage of your battery. So if the fuse is good or the mini breaker has power, well, then it may be an internal electrical issue. And there's several things that can go wrong here. Uh, it could be that the internal spade connections on the internal switch have loosened. It could be that you have a bad switch here, uh, or it could just be that the motor failed. Unfortunately, sometimes that does happen. Uh, under all those circumstances, you will wanna have your tongue jack serviced by a dealership. So at this point, what you'll wanna do is get out your manual crank and manually operate the tongue jack. To manually operate your power tongue jack, you'll simply want to remove the rubber cover and then use the manual override wrench onto the manual drive shaft. You'll wanna turn counterclockwise to retract the jack leg and clockwise to extend the jack leg. Worst case is that you have a mechanical issue, and this can be a couple different things. Uh, it could be that you have a bent ram tube, and therefore it's not going to slide into the housing tube the way it should, again, preventing your tongue jack from moving up and down properly. Or it could be a bad thrust bearing or bevel gear inside the tongue jack. Uh, unfortunately, if it is either of those scenarios, there is not a fix for it, and you will require a new power tongue jack. All right, folks, hopefully you found this troubleshooting video helpful. And if you did, you'd like to see more, make sure you like and subscribe. That way you'll be one of the first to be notified when we drop new content. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I'll see you next time.